Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for the love of glitter. I am Anna Chinin and yes, I am wearing my Christmas onesie because I'm doing a basic Christmas tutorial using as much ColourPop as I possibly could. There are some things that I don't have in ColourPop, but I tried my best. So if you want to learn how to get this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to start off by taking one of the shadows from the ColourPop collection now playing. They do sell these individually now, so lucky you, you could buy certain colors on your own. But I'm going to start off with the color Desert, and this is just a matte light brown. Actually, it kind of does have a sheen, but it's kind of like a satiny, light toned brown color. And it's very pretty. It looks like this. Nothing too crazy. And we are going to apply that, focusing it in the crease. Now, when ColourPop came out with their new brushes, for some reason the blending brush wasn't available when I bought my eyeshadow. So I only have the, um, the flat brush. So I'm kind of sad about that. I would have really liked to use... The blending brush, um, a blending brush that I have is too fluffy. I think those ones are a little bit more dense, which are kind of the types of brushes you want to use with ColourPop shadows, but if you had a brush, it would definitely make this more um, focused in the area. But, of course, you can always use your finger. ColourPop shadows work wonderful with your fingers. Okay. So there we go. I really do like this color. Again, this color, what did I say? This color is called Desert and it is available individually for five bucks. So for the lid, I just really want lots and lots of bright white sparkle. Um, so I'm going to try and mix a few of their lightest shades that I own. So it's going to be a concoction of shades. So I'm actually using one of their limited edition shades that they brought back, which is when I got this, and I'm so happy I did. It's a really pretty color. It's called Valley Girl. It's a white with golden sparkles. It's very similar to Glitterati. Um, Glitterati, I think, is... is just has more sparkle in it. Okay, and using their new flat brushes, I'm just going to go ahead and go into that. Uh, with these brushes, you kind of have to dig in a little bit more, not just like rub it around like you would your finger. You, uh, so you kind of, it picks up quite a bit of product, which is nice. So this is just going to go all over the lid. I actually really like these brushes because uh, your finger cannot get in this little corner very nicely, at least not very, it can get in there, just not very precise. So I really like these for that, it kind of fits your lid just really nicely. So right now it's coming off as more peachy shade, that's fine, because like I said, we're going to be mixing a bunch of shades together. I'm taking this color Rainbow from the Hello Kitty collection. It comes in the Mama Apple Pie Quad and it's just a very, very shimmery white color. So I'm going to pick up quite a bit of that right there and if need be I will take my finger but it is picking up quite a bit of product. So I like the way this one is showing up more white or white, which is kind of what I was going for. Using a color pop brush again and another shade from this, I'm actually going to go ahead and use Fairfax, which I think is a color that is not limited edition. It's just like a dark chocolate brown and it is matte. So it's a really nice one to have in your collection because ColourPop has so many beautiful shimmers and metallics, but mattes are always, you know, nice to have. So just going to kind of focus on the outer corner. Yeah. 
taking this contour brush by Elf, I'm going to use that to kind of help blend it out now that we have it set where we want it. Just blending out the edges so they're not as harsh. Using Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. And I'm going to use it on my e.l.f. face brush. I'm just squirting it right on there. I'm going to use my contour from Tarte's Tarte. Um, just this lighter shade, but any bronzer that you like to use is fine. I love Hula Bronzer. It's amazing. Honestly, I bought this palette because it was... 30% off for their friends and family sale and is either this or buy the hula and this one came to just like I was buying two hula bronzers so I figured I might as well try this one this one smells really yummy okay I also only own one blush from ColourPop um, so I'm just going to use the blush from here, and it's kind of like a just medium toned pink color. And for this, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. If I had a ColourPop one, I would use it, because I really wanted to stick to ColourPop for this, but... I'll have to try some more blushes. I, I, people tend to like them, I just... I don't know, I guess there's been no colors that I've been really crazy about that I've seen. Okay, still have to finish our eyes, not done with those, um, but I just really want to put on my lipstick right now. And we are going to wing our eyeliner. So I'm using ColourPop's Over the Moon. It is their hologram ones. So, not hologram ones. Duochrome types. Like, it shifts from white to pink. And it is more glittery. But since it is the holidays, why not? So, getting on my finger. And we're going to tap, tap, tap. See, see, see. Guys, so much for watching. It really means a lot. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas with your family, your loved ones, your friends, whoever you are spending it with. If you are traveling, please be careful. Um, Travis and I will actually be driving to Arizona from Illinois, so it is a 25-hour drive. So if I'm not responding to comments, um, maybe I'll do like a vlog video. I think that'll be fun um, because I don't know. It, it just should be interesting, but. I'm really excited to see my family and I tried pre-filming as many videos for you guys as I could even though I'm only going to be gone for a week but also I just got into a musical so I'll be at work and then I go to a musical at night so I won't really have time to film other than the weekend so it's my goal to kind of at least get like two videos filmed during the weekend so that I have something to edit during the week. So that'll probably be my new filming times. Thank you guys again so much. I hope you have a Merry Christmas or whatever you celebrate. I hope it's a happy one and you all have a wonderful Christmas. Let me know down below what you're hoping to get.